So here I am, I'm just prepping my hair. I have a lot of gunk and oil and dandruff sitting on my scalp, so it's just time to wash it. So, I'm just combing my hair, prepping it, making sure I get all the kinks and tangles out. Um, as you can see, my hair is really stringy, stringy, so that means it's very oily, so it's just time to wash it out. So, I'm prepping my hair for a hot oil treatment because my scalp needs it, y'all. So, I have my organic coconut oil and my Jamaican black castor oil. So, I put that in my hair. So, then I am prepping my hair for my shampooing process. So now I am getting ready to use, well I'm using my Mane and Tail Color Protect Shampoo and I'm just spraying more water on my hair as I go. Sometimes I like to wash my hair at the sink instead of in the shower or like bending over like the kitchen sink because I can control the, where the water goes. So because I, want, I really want to focus on my scalp right now, just making sure that the water and the shampoo only goes on my scalp at this point. So I'm use, just using the pads of my fingers. I'm not scraping my scalp. When you use your nails, it's almost like you're scraping your scalp. And it's not what you want to do at all. So you just want to use the pads of your fingers and make sure that you get your scalp. Make sure you get the dirt and the oil and the dandruff off. Just make sure you give your scalp a nice clean. So here I have rinsed my hair and I don't have any more shampoo in my hair. Um, so now I'm getting ready to put my hair in conditioner but first I'm going to comb it out. I'm making sure that I get all the excess water out. It's, it's obviously still pretty damp but I just, I don't know, I'm just the type of person I don't like the water dripping on me. So I just, I'm just really making sure. So now I'm just combing my hair out, just making sure that when I put the conditioner in, it can just slide right on down the strand and you know, I won't have any problems. And plus, you don't want to put your conditioner in the tangled hair anyway. So here, I, because I dyed my hair with the L'Oreal highlights, I am using the L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Conditioner. And what this does is nourishes your hair and revives the shine in your hair and also resists the color fade. And I told you guys earlier, my mane and tail color protectant, that makes sure that your color doesn't fade also and makes sure that um, your hair stays healthy while it, while it has color in it. But this is also what the conditioner does. Even though it's two separate products, I make sure that it does the same thing and I make sure that it's all healthy for my hair. So I'm just wrapping my hair up. Just and I put a plastic bag on my hair, but I won't let y'all see that. So <laughs> now my hair is rinsed out, so I'm just making sure that all the excess water is off because now I'm getting ready to put my other products in it and blow dry. So here, <laughs> I attempted to put my Afro G Keratin and Green Tea Reconstructurizer, but I guess my nozzle thing wasn't working, but that was fine. So I just used my Hawaiian Silky 14 in 1 Miracle Worker, and that worked just fine. So I went back into the oil that I did for my hot oil treatment, put that on my hair some more. So now I have three, a total of three products in my hair so far. So now I'm just parting my hair to section it off for a blow drying. And I really think parting your hair is, is crucial when you're blow drying because you're able to make sure you get each section. And you don't want to go over a section too many times with the blow dryer because that's how you get heat damage from a blow dryer. So most people think that you can't get heat damage from a blow dryer, but y'all, <laughs> you can. So if you section it little section by section and comb it out and, and keep it in sections while you're blow drying it, then you'll be pretty good. And I can't wait till we can break about the heat. Me if I seem a little unimpressed with this, an antisocial pessimist. But usually I don't mess with this, and I know you mean only the best. And your intentions aren't to bother me, but honestly, I'd rather be somewhere with my people. We can kick it and just listen to some music with the message. So 
so I went ahead and blow dried my hair off camera. Um, my hair is not completely blow dried. Like it's not as straight as I could get it because what's the point? I'm doing a flat twist. So I don't need it bone straight because I'm not flat ironing my hair. So I am making sure that I have my part right because when I take my hair down, I want my hair to lay a certain way. I don't just, you know, I don't just want it to just be there. I mean, I want it to lay a certain way. So, so here I'm parting my hair and I part this thing like 12 times because I really needed this part to be straight. I, you know, I think it was the tip of the comb that wasn't working for me. I don't know. But yeah, so now I'm just parting it to make sure that I have my straight part and I'm going to part it straight back because I'm going to do the sections. It just works easier for me. So here I am, I am parting my first section and I'm going to use my Mario Organic Flexible Hold Edge Gel and oh my god y'all, this is amazing. I will be doing a review soon on this product because man, y'all, I gotta put y'all on. So, so um, here I am, I'm just smoothing down my edges so it's just easier for me to twist it. I feel like if you start with smooth surfaces, man, you can just go like that. So, um, first I'm going to use my Talia Luigi Curl Sealer, and that just really helps my hair adhere to the twist, to the actual forming of the curl that I wanted to do. Then I'm going to use my Eco Styler Gel. The, I, I, I really don't have a preference for which Eco Styler Gel. I haven't used the, the um, Flexi one, or the, I think it's Flexi, or something like that. So I'm going to just stick with the Argan Oil or the Olive Oil. So, and what I also didn't show you guys is that I used my Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. I don't know why I didn't show you guys. I guess I forgot. But, yes, yeah, so I so I'm using that. So now I'm just twisting, and you just really twist it like you twist them on these. It's just it's just like over and under, almost if that makes sense. Um, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to flat twist itself. But yeah. Just slow down. So here I am, I have my twist in, and yes, I look like 20 people can set it off just with twisting my braids, but <laughs> either way, this is how I prep for my flat twist. So now I'm just prepping to go to sleep, I put my bonnet on, and then, you know, you you don't need to sleep pretty, this is not a sleep pretty style, you don't need to sleep pretty, you can sleep how you want to sleep. Um, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the morning. So this is the morning. I have slight makeup on, I guess. <laughs> um, I have the oil from yesterday. I have the oil in my hands because the oil, when you take down your flat toes and you have oil in your hand, it really reduces frizz throughout the day. Because out throughout the day, your hair is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you don't want it to get frizzy at all. Unless you the person that like frizz. I don't like frizz. So I put the oil on my hand to make sure that my hair has oil on it. And plus you, you don't want your hair to be dry. You want it to have oil on it. So so I'm just taking down my flat twist. And so far I am loving it. I'm loving the curl. I'm loving the pattern. Man, I can just already tell that this is going to be a great style. And I'm going to have a great day. Because... Man, when my hair is on point, my attitude is on point, so. So my hair is half taken down. I have about two or three twists left. So I'm just going to take that down. But as you guys can see, the pattern is coming out pretty, pretty nicely. And I'm just going ahead and putting some more oil on. So when you put the initial amount of oil in your hands, you're going to need to go back and get some more. Don't just think that you just can put a little dime size in your hand and you're going to be good. No, you're going to need to go back. So that's what I did. 
so now and I didn't speed this process up just for you guys because when you take your twist down you need to make sure that you go slow because if you just rush and take it down and take the sections just like just almost like rip them apart that's how you create frizz not just from not putting oil in your hair that's just one way the second way is that if you just take your hair down too fast you can create frizz and you can mess up the pattern the pattern that it has set in all night you can mess that up by taking it down too fast so watch how you guys take it down So I have taken down my last twist and remember you guys I made that part in the beginning yeah I didn't like how my hair was gonna sit so I just went ahead and did a middle part um that's my curl pattern in the back I'm loving it I have a few straggly pieces but I don't really know what happened but <laughs> it's cool with me um so I'm going back with my my yellow organics edge gel and man this stuff is amazing and it smells like lemon it just smells like heaven in a joint so i'm using that you really don't even need a lot you seriously don't need a lot and as you can tell a lot of that goes a long way a lot of that can obviously as you can tell fill up half of your i mean you know hold half your edges so you guys you guys will be good so i'm just gonna put that on the other side and as you can see, you know, the way I flip my hair, I was still at myself, obviously. So now my style is completed. Oh, I already know you guys are going to ask. I don't use a brush on my edges because I feel like if you brush your edges too much, your edges can come out because the bristles of the brush are really too hard. So I just use my hands. So now my style is completed. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope this really helps you guys because I know when I was learning how to do flat toes, I didn't have a video though. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, add me on Facebook, add me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram. I also send you guys. So make sure you check out my page. It'll be in the description box below. And thank you guys. <laughs>